Hi guys, it's been a minute. Yeah, life got really crazy over the last few days. I was not well enough to edit videos, let alone make videos. My body was in pain and touching things was painful. Editing was a myth. I feel better-ish now. Still in pain, but not as much pain. I've got a COVID test, which arrived today finally. And so I'll be doing that and sending that off just in case. Um, I'm feeling like I might have the flu, but there's a likelihood that maybe it's just this weird new strain of coronavirus that's going around. I just have the best luck this month, right? I mean, it could be worse. So today we're making hot toddies because there was a reason and I can't remember why. Yeah, that's 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 where we're at today. <laughs> I even put on makeup today. It's the first time I wore makeup in like a week. Um, basically, first time I wore makeup since I got back from Spain. But yeah, I don't think I got coronavirus in Spain because my symptoms started. I don't think I have, I don't know if I have coronavirus, but I don't think I got whatever I got from Spain because my symptoms started uh, two days ago. And that was like over 10 days after I arrived, like 11 days after I came back. And I was like super safe. Since I came back, uh, the only place I've been is Westfield. And I think there may have been where I contracted whatever I contracted because that was five days before the symptoms started, which makes more sense. Um, so yeah, fun, fun, fun. Anyways, we're already two minutes in. Let's start this. Oh crap, I forgot the knife. So today we're making hot toddies. It's not traditional hot toddy. Don't use this as a guide of any sort to make a hot toddy. Google it. Uh, Google the recipe. I'm gonna tell you how I make my hot toddies, um, especially when I'm sick. I haven't actually had one since I've been, actually I may have had one last year when I was sick, but this, I've always been ex not excited to get sick, but I've always been like, oh, I can't wait until I can make hot toddies for like medicinal reasons, see if it actually works. But you're gonna need, wow, I just did that. That looked dangerous. You're gonna need a lemon, a lemon, uh, a teapot, or just a large mug or anything else that you can put it in. Some whiskey, I have some old, Old? Did I just say old? Some malt whiskey, scotch, scotch, scotch. Is it scotch? What is it? Uh, Scotland's slowest giving Glengoyne Highland single malt. It's a single malt. That's the word I was looking for. I think it's a single malt scotch. Oh, here we go. Single malt scotch whiskey. I wouldn't recommend using good stuff to make your hot toddy. However, we don't have any like Jameson lying around or anything else that we can use. So I will be using this. We do have a bunch of whiskey at home that I got from the Travel Retail Awards. And I don't drink whiskey a lot. Kyle, he drinks whiskey, he likes whiskey. So I generally like leave the whiskey for him. But if I'm making hot toddies, I just pour whatever it is, whatever looks cheapest in the drawer. Oh, Chile, it's hot. Okay, so I opened the door. Um, so it might be loud, but it's so warm in here and with the lights and everything and being sick, I feel like I'm in a daze. So <laughs> I was just like, let me just open the door for some fresh air. So if you hear traffic, okay. For this, you're gonna need a lime, uh, a lime, wow. Oh my God, I'm like, actually, this light is making me very delirious. You're gonna need a lemon. Well, I felt like I could do this. And now as I'm starting, I'm like, <laughs> How am I gonna get through this? Okay guys, bear with me. Let's cut the lemon. My knife isn't that sharp. Thankfully no seeds, hallelujah. Cause no one wants to deal with that. My water's probably not very hot anymore. Well, we move. Start with lemon, cause that's the easiest part. So I like to cut a slice. Oh God, wow. Okay, this was really not a sharp knife. I should've got the other one. <clears throat> get your lemon slices. I have a pot here, it's a teapot. Put a slice in there. I might use the whole lemon because there's no point keeping it, I'm sick. Like, I'm not trying to contaminate anyone else. So I'm just gonna use the whole thing. So I got two slices in here. Um, ooh. So usually a hot toddy consists of whiskey, honey, lemon, and hot water. That's a hot toddy. It's quite a traditional English drink. I think it's English. Um, it might not be, it might be Scottish, not sure. Well, Irish. It's British. But yeah, it's a great winter drink. Um, so start with your la lemons and then on to the next step. Let's move the lemon out of the way. So actually, maybe I should do the squeezing now. I'm gonna take out this rim. Squeeze. Can you see? Okay, I don't need a chopping board anymore. So next you're gonna squeeze. I usually like to, I didn't do that this time. I stab my lemon. Probably not safe, so <laughs> don't do it. 
but it helps to get a lot more of the juice out if you stab it first. Choo choo! Oh, that breeze is nice. Yeah. So I had a bit of a temperature. Um, I was at like, at the worst, I was at about 37.6, 7. Yeah, it was bad. And then I napped pretty much all day yesterday and it went down. I'm now at like 35, which is great. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, on to the next lemon. Oh, bye bye. Whatever you were. I've tried hot toddies many ways. Um, I do prefer mine with ginger, which is the non traditional aspect that I add to it. And because the ginger is just good for you, good for your your body, your immune system, and just just generally great. So I add ginger. Usually fresh ginger, but I don't have any, and I can't really go out and get any. Um, None of us are leaving the house, we're all staying here. <coughs> Until my test results come back, because that is the rule. So yeah, we got no fresh ginger. So I just use what I've got in the fridge right now. Okay, so I got my lemon juice and my slices. And now I'm gonna add the ginger. This one's not been opened. I don't wanna use the one anymore because I was like, mm. For this it says one to one, so I usually do like three slices. I'd say that's about that much, a teaspoon, if you could see that. Not a lot. I'd say about a teaspoon I just put in there. And then, should have done the honey first. So I might add the hot water and then do the honey so I can clean this. Just add your hot water. So I do about two tablespoons of honey. Honey is great for you when you're sick. Oh, it's like a good soup, especially if you have a sore throat. Don't worry, I'll disinfect everything after. <laughs> I have lots of wipes and I have disinfectant spray, which I got on set, thankfully. So now I just spray everything that I can. Actually, we have a bunch of disinfectant wipes under the sink as well that I can use. I should use those instead of wasting my spray. Um, cool, yes. And then last but not least, I like to add this last because, um, if you add it first and then you add the hot water, I, scientifically speaking, I don't know if this is true, but it will kill off most of the alcohol just because it's so hot. So I usually add the hot water and stir it and then I will add the whiskey. And I do, you can do what you're okay with. Most people, I guess, like could probably do one shot. I, however, like to do two, usually because I'm sharing it. And I don't know if doing two is a good idea, but do you know what? We here, and it's Christmas, and we're in tier four, and I ain't about to go nowhere, apparently, for the next very long time. So, I think I'm gonna enjoy my life, and I think you should too, <laughs> because fuck being miserable. But yeah, so, alas, this is a hot toddy. <laughs> I love it, it's spinning, it's so cute. So I'm gonna put this guy back in. Put my little teapot lid on. Cute! <laughs> okay, so let's try it. I'm gonna get to the end of this and realize I forgot something really important. I don't know what that is, but I'll let you know when I get there. Okay, I didn't really pour a lot. Let's pour an actual considerable amount. I'm spilling it. Okay, there's actually a hole in this teapot, like right in the, t in the tip. That's why it's spilling. But I can't, I can't, like, in good conscience throw it away when it still works practically well. So, you know. Fireworks are going off. Thank oh. you. You're welcome. Okay. So here it is. Did I spill it? No, I didn't. Let's try it. 
Oh, it's good. I think I lost my sense of taste. <laughs> nice. It's good. Whoa, it's whiskey. It's whiskey. Glengoin. Glen is that how you say Glengoin? Unhurried since 1833. This is not an ad. Um <laughs> But yeah, this is good. Okay, so this is gonna kick my cr whatever I have, don't know. Fingers crossed it's not coronavirus virus, we'll find out in a couple of days. That's it. I just wanted to say hi. Sorry that I've been gone for the last couple of days and I will make up the lost time in Vlogmas. I'm gonna try and film and try and edit some stuff. I have another video that I already had since the summer that I wanted to upload. It was a Pinterest outfit challenge that I did and because I lost everything on my laptop and I couldn't, my laptop broke down for like months and basically I couldn't access it. I now have the footage and I'm like, should I upload it? It was from summer, the clothes are summerish. Maybe I should. So I might, <laughs> and now I'm sweating because this is clearing out the insides. Oh my god, I'm gonna change into something a lot lighter than this because I'm about to sweat my life away. I hope you guys are okay. Hopefully I'm, I'm gonna be all right soon and back to uh, making videos. That'd be great, that'd be nice. Take care all, hug your loved ones. Oh. Q wanted to say hug your loved ones, but coronavirus, so that's not happening. Tell your loved ones you love them. And young, see you guys soon, bye. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm tired.